Today I'm going to create a piping bag using PME parchment triangles. The pack contains 50 of the large triangles which can be reduced in size and cut down as required. This is a large piping bag made with a large triangle straight from the packet. If you half the triangle you can create a medium bag which I'll be showing you how to create today. And you can half it again to make a small piping bag which is great for precision piping. I've used icing bag adapters which is great when you're using a variety of piping tubes and want to use the same icing bag. I'm going to show you how to make a piping bag from parchment triangles. If you start by folding your parchment triangle in half, fold along the line and with a sharp knife cut down the side so you get two smaller triangles. On this piping bag here I've written one, two and three. Now to make your piping bag you want to bring one up to meet two, bring round three around the back and once you get around and it's nice and neat, fold over the top to secure it fold over the top again and you can see that it's a nice piping bag and you want to make sure you don't have any hole down the bottom. Now these bags are fantastic to use for royal icing, buttercream, chocolate, candy and great for precision piping as you get a nice fine point. You want to make sure that there's no hole in the bottom of the bag and you can either cut your piping bag tip off and just drop a nozzle straight inside or you can bring in the icing bag adapters. Now the icing bag adapters come in two parts. If you pop the large part inside the bag, make sure it's nice and secure. Hold it with one hand and pop the twist cap on the end. If you twist it up the bag, it'll make a nice line of where it needs to go and you can bring in your scissors to chop that line off. Drop the icing bag adapter back inside and you can fix whichever nozzle you need to use on the end and secure it onto your bag with the adapter.